Hey, what's up? This is Scott Talinsky, and today we're going to be doing an overview of the Drupal 8 beta. Since we installed the Drupal 8 beta in the last video, we're going to take you through and show you some of the admin interface, the front end stuff, some of the stuff that you might not know about the new Drupal 8 setup. Now this isn't going to be a full walkthrough of Drupal 8, I'm going to save that for after the full version is released, but this should give you a good idea about where things are and where things are headed with the Drupal 8 beta. So check it out, we're going to get into that right now. Okay, so we now have the Drupal 8 installed, and you can see automatically there's a bit of a difference. Well, it's not a huge difference. Uh, first of all, our alert message looks just a hair prettier. Um, that was, it always looked pretty basic before, and it still doesn't look great, but it looks better. Um, next, we have this theme that sort of looks like Bardic, that pretty much is, but it's not uh, necessarily the same Bardic. It's just visually very similar. So you also notice at the top here, we have our new admin toolbar. It has manage shortcuts in admin. Admin is things like log out at a profile, view profile. Short, uh, shortcuts are your shortcuts that you will add that more could show up here. Manage is our content, structure, appearance, extend, configuration, people, reports, and help. Now these are sort of new to be up here. These are a little bit different than what we had before, but they all make sense and you have nice little icons now to sort of get at a quick glance what everything's doing. Now you'll notice there's also a button here where you can move this menu to the side and you'll notice it pushes over our content. Cool, so let's go ahead and go to content so you can see something maybe a little bit more familiar. Now this page should also look pretty familiar. This theme hasn't changed a whole lot from the Drupal 7. Uh, we can just as easily add content, sort it the same way that we could before. So this is gonna feel very natural. In fact, if we click add content, it's going to feel very natural. Again, we have article, basic page, um, and so while we do have not a ton of changes here, the whole authoring situation looks very similar. There's a lot of stuff under the hood and Drupal 8 is pretty different uh, for a lot of reasons under the, the technical aspects of it that we're not going to cover in this video. However, in our more complete Drupal 8 series that arrives when Drupal 8 arrives, we'll certainly be covering that. So next we have structure. And structure is going to have the stuff that you would expect. We have block layout, which is a new section here. Um, so it allows you to configure what block content appears on your site, sidebars, and other regions. So this sounds a lot like blocks. However, if we go to block layout, um, you'll see it's going to be a little bit different, okay? It's gonna be more full featured. It's sort of a better layout system than what we've had before. Now we also have comment types, contact forms, uh, which is now the default. It's in here by default here. We don't have to have uh, a web form or any of these other modules added on after the fact. We can use contact forms. We also have content types. Display modes are where you configure how your page is displaying, your content type is uh, displaying. And that, that existed in Drupal 7, just a little bit differently. Next we have menus, taxonomy, and views. Now any Drupal user should be really excited that views is now a part of core, and here it is. We didn't have to install it like we do on every single Drupal site we use. So views exists. Uh, by default, menus should feel largely the same. Uh, we can go ahead and edit one of these menus just so you can see, drag around. Uh, so there's not a ton of crazy differences, but Drupal 8 all around is a much nicer experience. Okay, next we have appearance, which is where you can change your theme, which looks extremely similar to uh, Drupal 7's appearance page. And next we have extend, which is going to be where you're going to add modules. So it's no longer screaming at you modules, modules, modules. It's now extend, where you're going to extend Drupal with modules. And that might make for a nicer experience. Um, and it may not, it might be completely inconsequential. Okay, let's go ahead and search. So let's enter a module name. And this is a automatic filtering built in. And People have used other plugins like module filter in the past, so it's really nice to see this module filtering in here. Um, now we can see we have views and views UI. Um, if you click on these drop-down menus, you get access to help or configure. 
and you can save your configuration here. Okay, now let's go to configuration. And again, this looks very similar. Some of these headlines are a little bit different, text formats and editors. Uh, we still have performance, uh, things like that. And this is all going to feel very similar. So I suggest you just install Drupal 8 and poke around. However, uh, a lot of this stuff isn't going to be completely mind blowing. Next we have people, which is going to be your just basic no listing. Like we have our user accounts here. And next we have a section called reports. Now reports gives us access to things like available updates, recent log messages. Um, you can see we have uh, some log messages. It looks like there's a PHP error here. And also we have things like status report, top access denied errors. So just sort of any sort of uh, maybe errors or reporting that you'd wanna see is gonna be available here. Lastly, we have help, which opens up some getting started documentation and some documentation about the individual modules. If you click on views, it's going to tell you some basic uh, views usage. Honestly, I hope the documentation here gets better. There's the online documentation for the views module, um, but really none of this is very good. I feel like they could do a much better job of explaining how to use these modules. Uh, however, there's always level up tuts and you can come here and learn how to use this stuff. Okay, so this is the overview of the Drupal 8 beta. What you can tell is that on the surface, not a ton has changed, uh, but underneath the hood, uh, there is a lot changed and the core Drupal experience is significantly improved from Drupal 7. So I'm excited. I can't wait to try it when it comes out uh, and start using it on projects right away. So as always, this is Scott Talinsky. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.